This girl stabbed her mother 79 times inside the bathroom. Not only that, but she also beat her mother with a baseball bat and slit her throat open. She did all of that while her stepfather was pleading for mercy. But the 18 years old teen came out of the bathroom only after killing her mother. The bizarre part of this crime story is that after 7 years of it, she went viral on social media not for the brutality of her crime, but for her cute but creepy act which she pulled inside the courtroom. The reality behind her crime and her absurd fame on social media is so menacing that it can destroy your faith in humanity. Isabella Guzman was born in the city of Aurora to Jan Mihoy and Robert Guzman. When she was 4 years old, her parents got divorced. After this, her mother married another man named Ryan Hoy and Isabella began to live with her mother and her stepfather. But little did her mother know that something evil is crawling inside Isabella's mind and slowly she is getting mentally sick. In her growing up years, Isabella was not very friendly with her mother. Their toxic relationship hit its peak when she turned 18. In August 2013, Isabella had an ugly argument with her mother and she spat on her mother's face. It was shocking for Isabella's mother. But what terrified her more was the email she received from Isabella the next day. It simply read, you will pay. The petrified mother called the police, but they took it lightly and told Isabella to be good to her mother. Everyone thought that this would bring some improvement in her, but instead she did something horrifying and unexpectable. On the night of August 28, 2013, Yan Mihoy arrived home at 9.30 p.m. and went to take a shower in the room upstairs. A while later, her husband, Ryan Hoy, heard sounds of a physical fight. He rushed upstairs and saw that Isabella is hurting her mother inside the bathroom. Before he could enter the bathroom, Isabella locked the door. In panic, her stepfather banged on the bathroom door and pleaded for mercy. But Isabella did not stop and soon he saw blood oozing out of the bathroom door. He rushed to call 911. But by the time he finished the call, he heard the last painful scream of Yan Mihoy. And then what he saw, it shook him to the core. He saw Isabella coming out of the bathroom with a bloody knife in her hand. She had a dead look on her face and she walked past without harming him. I'm not sure what happened with the knife she was carrying. It looked like she was still holding on to it. And I looked down and I saw my wife on the floor, blood everywhere, all over the bathroom. Her mother's dead body was inside the bathroom covered in a pool of blood which was oozing out of the wounds of her torso, neck and face. Isabella stabbed her 79 times. Before stabbing her, Isabella had beaten her with a baseball bat. Her mother died on the spot because of the injuries. After this, Isabella fled from the house. But soon she got arrested by the police and presented in the court. Surprisingly, she did not get any severe punishment. The judge found that Isabella had a complicated mental illness and during the crime she was not aware that she is killing her own mother and so she was sent to a mental institute but the craziest thing happened seven years after this incident when Isabella Guzman gave a public interview and became an overnight internet sensation I'm not mentally ill anymore I'm not a danger to myself or others after this her old courtroom footage went viral on social media and people began to make duets with her creepy reactions people not only found her cute and pretty but they also believed that she should not be judged for her crime. In 2021, she got released from Mental Health Institute. Today, she is living a free life and looks like this. If I could change it or if I could take it back, I would. But the big question is, if the justice is served or the law has overlooked the seriousness of her crime.